I'm Jesse Keith, horticulturist and grower with SunGrow Horticulture and Black Gold. And I'm going to talk a little bit today about planting fruit trees. I'm not too picky about where I get my fruit trees. I, as long as the trees are really healthy and the price is right, and I pick these up at a really uh, nice local grocery store, very good price. And this is a dwarf peach tree. I picked up two. Um, this particular cultivar is called Scarlet Prince, and it's got delicious mid to late season fruit with kind of a red uh, hue, supposed to be very flavorful, and also self-fertile. So I could have just planted one, but I planted two just because two peaches are better than one. So I'm going to do a close-up here to show how I plant a tree when I have nice lawn and I don't want to mess up the lawn. First of all, I look at the base of the pot and I try to dig a hole that's about twice the size. And so the way that I do that First, get my gloves on. Very important. Set my compost mix aside. And I know exactly where I want this to go. This is a nice, sharp steel spade. And I'm gonna just take that sod up and make it look real easy. It's a nice circle. And then, and I also try to make sure I get most of the soil off of it. Um, get a little bit off there. And then I kind of lift that off. Try to skim that off. And there I've got my nice planting hole. Skim a little more of this off in a bit. Then what I do to keep it tidy is I take my soil and I take a tub like this and I start digging to the approximate depth of my pot. So what am I looking at? Maybe about 10 inches down. All right, I think I've got the depth just about right. So then what I'm gonna do, kind of even this out at the bottom. And here I have my tree. I'm gonna take off that plastic wrap. It's not needed. This tree is staked with a bamboo stake. I'm probably gonna leave that just to, so it grows nice and upright first of the season. But some would recommend you keep this peat pot. I never do because they don't break down as fast as I like. I'm gonna put a little more soil up. And uh, as a matter of fact, let me put a little of my compost mix in there. They don't break down as fast as I like. And I find the roots have a better chance to grow if they're removed from the peat pots. Add just a little more soil, get it up to the right level. We want this soil level to be with the, the level, the soil level of my yard. Just a little more. And then just a little more black gold compost mix, which is OMRI listed for organic gardening, really good stuff. So there we go. So I've got my, my tree ready to fill in. So what I often do, I'll take this backfill and just work in a little more of that compost to make sure the soil is really fertile and my tree gets off to a really great start. And I'll fill in. All, that, all those roots need to be completely covered and I want no air pockets. surrounding soil, so I want to fill that in with. Okay. Okay. Alright, the other thing that I want to do, that I have on hand, is a little plant food formulated for fruit trees. 
And that's gonna help this tree really get off to a great start. You wanna make its shirt straight. There we go, stuck that bit down. Straight to me. And I wanna mulch it well. And that's gonna ensure, I don't wanna mulch it around the base of the tree, cause that'll smother it. But I wanna give it a, enough of a ring that I don't hit it with my lawnmower or accidentally hit it with my lawnmower. And this will also keep moisture in during the summer, those hot summer days. Okay. So here are my two dwarf peach trees. They're on really a uh, dwarf rooting stock, so they'll stay very small. So I don't have to worry about planting them to a little closer together than I would a standard size peach tree. And uh, taking these off, because they don't add anything to the appearance of these plants, I'm going to keep them well watered all summer. When you plant a new tree, particularly a fruit tree like this, that and this already has a few peaches, um, you really want to take very good care of them. I may even remove that fruit because young trees like this, they're establishing themselves. Um, I'll show you this one. want them fruiting because they're going to put energy towards fruit, there we go, and not root growth, foliage growth. So I'm going to take these little peaches off, but I'm going to give these good care and within the next couple of years I should have loads and loads of peaches. So happy gardening, happy fruit tree growing.